Hi everyone, happy Thursday. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with another 2020-2021 Upper Deck Artifacts Hockey Break. Nice, we're already on break number four. Five box, random team break number four. There's the combo right there. One spot gets you two teams. And remember the mystery redemption stuff. Um, let's say, for example, we pull out five mystery redemptions. We're going to randomize the original 15 names in the top five will each win a redemption in the order that they're pulled. So the first one goes to the name on top, the second one we pull goes to the second name, so on and so forth. A lot of great stuff in here. So, big thanks to these folks for getting into it. Let's double you up like Sir Mix-a-Lot. Uh, double up, uh, uh. There's the combo right there, stars and sharks. Let's roll it, let's randomize it. Six and a four, ten times for names and teams. One, two, three, four, And tenth and final time. After ten, we've got Adam down to Adam. Oh man, I, I was so eager to start this break. Today is the twenty-first, one twenty-one twenty-one. This is a five-box random team number four break of twenty 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 twenty-one. Upper deck artifacts hockey. All right, so once again, there's Adam down to Adam there. Six and a four, ten times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Tenth and final time, good luck. After ten, we got the Montreal Canadiens down to the Boston Bruins. All right, so Adam with the Canadiens, John with the Flyers and the Maple Leafs, Jack B with the Senators, Brian with the Hurricanes, John with the Lightning and the Blackhawks, Steve Birch with the Stars and the Sharks, Star Sharks, John with the Jets, Thomas with the Coyotes, Brian with the Avs, Adam with the Caps, Brian with the Preds, Steve with the Blues, Jack B with the Red Wings, John Stallone, Penguins and Wild, Wild Penguins, Steve Birch with the Rangers, Alexis Lafreniere, Adam with the Ducks, Nick with the Oilers, Brian with the Canucks and Flames, uh, Thomas with the Islanders, Brian with the Kings, Nick with the Knights, John with the Blue Jackets, Steve with the Devils, Brian with the Panthers and the Sabres, and Adam Kupperman with the Boston Bruins. Let's get all this on one screen right here and alphabetize by team. And let me show you the boxes right here. Remember we marked... Oh, come on, camera. I forgot to turn you on. There we go. Adjust the angles here a little bit. All right, so remember, we, we marked all these right here. So you know they're from the same case. Is it Alexi? Not Alexis. Alexi? Lafreniere? Alexis? Alexi. Alexi. We'll go with Alexi. All right, we're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if we're going to find some Alexi in this, uh, in this side and see if there's any trades. Stick around. We'll be right back. All right, welcome back, folks. There were no deals done. It's all good here in this break here on the 21st of January. Thanks, everyone, for joining us. The next five-box break is already loaded up if you're watching live on jazbeescasebreaks.com if you want to check that out from a fresh, an inner case from a fresh master case. So I, I don't know if there's traditional case hits in here or anything like that, but, but for what it's worth, it's from a fresh master case. And it's a brand new release too. I think this just this only dropped yesterday. So it is brand new. So if you're into getting the latest and greatest, and this is it right here, artifacts. I guess I, I don't remember doing this last year. Did we do artifacts last year? I think the the whole redemption thing is like is like intentional. It's like a unique part of of artifacts from what I understand. I think there's a little bit of uh, treasure hunting involved, maybe. Belongs in a museum. That's my on-point Harrison Ford impression. You got a point, too. You just, you look up, uh, well, after this video, you can look up Harrison Ford 
pointing. And the whole whole thing. That's an acting trait of his. The point. Get off my plane. I don't think he points at that scene, but he should have. All right. We're going to start off with Bertuzzi. Arm. I guess there's some sort of treasure hunt here, too, if you, if you scratch that off. There's John Carlson to 499. Uh, that's for the Capitals. The, this Orem card goes to Detroit, and that will be for Jack Beat. We got Nico Hersher to 499 for New Jersey. That'll be for Steve Birch. There's Nicholas Bodine to 999 for Chicago. That'll be for John Stallone. There's an Austin Matthews arm card for Toronto. John. Max Domi to two ninety nine Canadians. That'll be for Adam. Claude Drew for the Flyers two ninety nine. That's gonna be for John. There's Eric Stahl to four ninety nine for the Wild, John. Oh, no redemptions in this one. Some of the boxes can be like that. All right. That usually means one of these boxes is going to be overloaded. I guess the Orem cards could be considered the hit in every box right here. I have a feeling there was a slight collation thing going on, but I can't confirm that for sure. It does say on average. So I guess if you're uh, if you're buying personal boxes of this from us, I'd buy maybe a couple at a time. Might be you know, it might be a good strategy. Jack, did you end up getting any yesterday? Any artifacts boxes from Jason yesterday? Personal breaks are on uh, Instagram Live, ladies and gentlemen. At Jaspi's breaks, check it out. Carry Price to 45. Yeah, no jersey cards in this one too. Maybe maybe some maybe more redemptions. You can tell by the fillers. And there's our first rookie redemption. Did we get back to you on a on a price though at least, Jack? So that's Nick Galvin and the Golden Knights. So there, there's a team logo there, so this is not part of the randomizer. And there's a, a thin relic card right here. Tyler Bertuzzi, 107 out of 175, dual relic for Detroit. You guys did. Okay, good. Thank you. We got back to you. Uh, Detroit, that's for you. Jack B. And we've got Tundra teammates duos, both Golden Knights, Mark Stone and Mark Andre Fleury. 227 out of 249. These marks going to Vegas. Nick Galvin. It's Connor Hellebuck. Hellebuck to 99. Oh, got some NHL Live on NBCSN right here. It's appropriate. And another rookie redemption going to a team, Detroit, Jack. 
Maybe I can work on my hockey knowledge here by absorbing this information. Another relic, Eric Carlson. So we got a couple thin relics in this one. None, no thick relics. Sharks, that goes to the Stars. Sharks combo, Steve Birch. Another thin relic, Peyton Krebs. 190 out of 599. That reminds me, this, this his name reminds me of the... Uh, Of the Krebs cycle. You guys remember the Krebs cycle? Mm, may, I don't know. May, maybe maybe he... Is he the... Uh, Krebs is going to be good. That's what he said. It's the citric acid cycle, for those of you who don't remember your, uh, your high school science. Uh, it was finally, the Krebs cycle was identified by Hans Adolf Krebs and William Arthur Johnson while at the University of Sheffield. There you go. I don't know if Peyton Krebs, is he, is he related? Don't know. Maybe. Could be, could be part of history. You know, Clayton Kershaw's great uncle, I think, uh, was the one that discovered Pluto. Now, Clayton Kershaw is also pretty passionate about Pluto remaining a planet. Some scientists may differ on that. Some astronomers say, no, not a planet. Some say, yeah, definitely a planet. Kershaw's on the planet side of things. It's important to him. It's family legacy. Actually, don't know what the what, what I don't remember what the citric acid cycle cycle is. It, the citric acid cycle or the Krebs cycle is a series of chemical reactions used by all uh, aerobic organisms to release stored energy through the oxidization of acetyl CoA derived from carbohydrates, fats, and proteins. There you go. Sounds important. Sounds important. Yeah, I don't I don't think Kershaw is a fan of Neil deGrasse Tyson. You say like, you've just ruined my family legacy. We've got a jersey and autograph. That's Timothy Liljegren. Liljegren. Lil Jordan. Lil Jordan Humphrey on the Saints. It's a dual relic and autograph. 12 out of 49 for Toronto. That'll be for John Stallone. We got Alexis Lafreniere. Alexi Lafreniere to 9.99. That'll be for Steve Birch and the Rangers. Nice. Someone's, I think Steph was saying earlier that maybe a little rough start for him, but I think we're, we're only like four or five games into the season. Got Jake Evans to 399. For Montreal, that goes to Adam. Uh, Zach Orensky to three ninety nine, and another live auto, a Rocco Grimaldi. Artifacts, auto facts for Nashville. That goes to Brian Croft and the Predators. Last spot mojo strikes again. Sixty percent of the time, last spot mojo hits a hundred percent of the time. I think, the, I think the Kings play the Avs Kings at 7 o'clock Pacific. There's Pierre-Luc Dubois to 499, who, uh, who wants a trade. So I think, I think the, uh, I think Courtney, where is the Amber? One of the, one of the, one of the Bishop sisters were telling me that this guy just signed a contract in December and then now asked for a trade just, just the other day. What's going on, Pierre? What happened? Anyway, that goes to Columbus. That'll be for John Stallone. Why would you sign? I don't know. Why would you sign the contract and then... It's Barzal. It's kind of a weird, weird play unless... 
unless in between the contract signing and recently, maybe the team owner kicked his dog or something like that. It's like, Pierre, Pierre's just like, no way. Don't. Oh, you think the contract m makes it easier? To I, uh, yeah, I guess so. Right, because the contract is set. Oh, Jack, you're saying he wanted out before signing. Hmm. Well, either way, just a bit of a situation in Columbus. Steph is saying he doesn't like his coach. There's been a lot of arguments. Is he, a, a, I mean, I don't know hockey. Is he the caliber of a player that, I guess he is a caliber of a player that can ask for a trade and demand things like that? Must be pretty good. Yes, he's very good. It's the first game. All right. So now, I don't even know. I don't even know what position he plays. Is he a center? Is he a wing? He must be an offensive player. Oh, he's a center. Okay. So, well, I guess any team could use a good center, right? <laughs> yeah, he's only 22 years old. Anyone, anyone can use a 22-year-old center. What team, um, so what teams are he being, is he being linked to any teams? There's Lucas Walmark for Florida. That's going to be for Brian Croft. Oh, there he is again, Pierre Luc Dubois, two ninety nine. Another one for John and Columbus. Those are pretty good numbers, right? Some guy that can get you almost thirty goals and thirty assists a season. There's Roman Yossi for Nashville. There's Eric Carlson for the Sharks. That goes to the combo team. And there's Roman Yossi. One out of 15. It's a nice patch right here. Nice autograph. Nice low number. Brian Croft with the Nashville Predators. Like he's he's pretty good, right? Lucas Carlson, Blackhawks, a two ninety nine. Can I get a mulligan on that? Ooh, that's dangerous. Tom Wilson to two ninety nine. And Ryan Getzlaff for the Ducks to four ninety nine. That'll be for Adam. So Steph's saying that Luke Dubois wants. No, sorry, his last name is Dubois. Pierre Luke is his first name. So Steph's saying he wants to go back. He wants to go to his hometown, Canadiens. But the Blue Jacks are asking for Suzuki and other players for him. Jack B is arguing, yeah, they're, they're not going to get Suzuki. Kot Kanemi, perhaps. Yeah. Steph says, nah. Suzuki's worth it, though. But the, but the habitants like them too much. Hmm. Well, we'll see how this how this drama pans out, ladies and gentlemen. 
Keep checking our website for more hockey breaks, jaskyscaserates.com. We've got uh, we've got another five boxer up, and that's from a fresh uh, inner case from a fresh master case. So fresh cases all around. If that's what if you're into that kind of thing, so fresh and so clean. Ooh, there's our first mystery redemption, Roman numeral two, an emerald jersey patch, autographed emerald jersey patch. So that'll go the name on top when we randomize the original 15. Post-it note. There it is. So that'll be number one on the randomizer. There's Kale McCard, three ninety nine. For Colorado, Brian Croft. We've got Jason Robertson to nine ninety nine. Dallas, Steve Birch. There's Anthony Mantha to two ninety nine for Detroit. It's for Jack. We've got a Mark Stone Aurum card for Vegas. That'll be for Nick Galvin. There's Mark Shifley to four ninety nine. Winnipeg, John Stallone. We've got Tyler Benson to nine ninety nine. That'll be Nick Galvin and Edmonton. There's Mark Andre Fleury to four ninety nine for Vegas, and we've got Anthony D'Angelo at the very end. All right, so it looks like just one one randomizer. I thought there might have been one more, but the name on top will get that mystery redemption. Roman numeral two autograph rookie relics redemption emerald jersey and patch. The last emerald one, I think this is emerald, was out of 15, so maybe maybe similar number there. One hopes. All right, so let me get myself organized here. Let me... Open up ram.org. So let's grab some new dice right there. Let me grab the original list. There we go. And the name on top after... 10 will get the redemption. Six, seven, eight, nine, and good luck everybody. 10th and final time, name on top is gonna be Brian Croft, last spot mojo. There you go. After 10, you're gonna get this redemption right here. Hopefully it's awesome. Good luck. Thank you. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.